Okay, so I've got another question here from a student, and I'll read it to you in case you can't read it. Um, the equation's right here, and I'll rewrite it. 9 times the sine of 18x plus 11 equals 2. The goal is to solve for x, so maybe take a moment, try it on your own, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Alright, so we're trying to isolate this variable. The first thing you probably want to do is subtract 11 on both sides, and it gives us 9 times the sine of 18x equals negative 9. Then, sine of 18x is what we're trying to solve for. I'm going to divide both sides by this 9. Let's cancel out. Negative 9 divided by 9 is negative 1. And the sine of 18x equals negative 1. At this point, I want to break it down by taking the inverse sine of both sides. Taking the inverse sine of the sine of 18x. And I'm taking the inverse sine of negative 1. So the inverse sine of the sine, well, what's that going to give us? It's always going to give us whatever is in here in the parentheses. So the sines cancel out, and what's left is the 18x. And on the right-hand side, the inverse we have the inverse sine of negative 1. So what angle has a sine of negative 1? Think of your unit circle here. Right? And on a coordinate plane, if we draw a unit circle with a radius of 1, the idea is that any point on the circle can tell us what the sine and cosine are equal. So here the radius is 1. That's a unit circle centered at the origin. So this point over here is the point 1, and there's no height to it, 0. So a 0 degree angle, this tells us the cosine is always your x value. The cosine is 1, and the sine is 0. So think about where a point would have to be on this circle so that the sine, the y value, is negative 1. That's what we're looking for here. Where would that be? It would be right here. So this is the point where the cosine is 0 and the sine is negative 1, which is what we're looking for. And what angle is that? We'll start at the x-axis, go all the way over here. That's 270 degrees. But we're doing this, looks like, in radians. So this is pi radians is here. It's half a circle. So this is pi and a half, or 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 is 1 and a half pi's or pi and a half, a pi. And this angle, plus any 360 degree rotation or 2 pi rotation, will give you the sine of negative 1. So for example, if I went here, three point, uh, 1.5 pi's, and then another 2 pi's all the way around, I'd end up back at the same exact um, point on the unit circle, so I'd have the same sine. So 1.5 pi's plus 2 pi's, of course, that's 3.5 uh, pi's. That angle in radians has the same measure and sine. And any number of rotations, complete rotations in either direction, will work. That's why n has to be an integer. So 18x has to be 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi times n, or any multiple, uh, where n is any integer. But we don't want to know what 18x equals. We want to know what x equals. So how do we do that? Well, it's 18 times x, right? So divide everything by 18, and that will get us x equals 3 pi over 2. I'm thinking of it as times 1 over 18. That's the same thing as dividing by 18. And that's 3 pi. And then 1 18th of that is, uh, we're going to think of 18 times 2 is 36. I'm just picturing this in my mind. 3 pi over 2 times 1 over 18. That's the same thing as dividing by 18. And that's where the 36 comes from. Right? 3 pi times 1 is 3 pi. 2 times 18 is 36. And plus, and divide this by 18, so that's 2 pi over 18 times n. But these two fractions reduce. So right here, this is going to be 3 over 36 is the same as 1 over 12. And this is the same as 1 over 9. So we're looking for pi over 12 uh, plus pi over 9n. So where is that? So I don't see it. Interesting. So either I've made a mistake, or they're looking at this angle from a different perspective, which is possible. Um, so I'm thinking, well, it's true that you could have thought of this as a, I noticed there's like a negative angle here, so I'm hoping that will help us. I consider this from a positive perspective. What about from a negative perspective? What angle would that be? Negative is, is the clockwise direction. 
that's a quarter of a circle, uh, which is pi over 2 radians. So that also could be thought of as negative pi over 2 radians. So if I substitute that back in for this step, this is another way of saying this, is if 18x equals negative pi over 2 plus 2 pi times n. And if you divide everything by 18 here, what do you get? You get x equals negative pi over 36. I'm feeling better about this because we've got a negative pi over 36 plus 2 pi over 18, which is pi over 9 times n, which is this choice right here. So choice B, that'll work. All right, well, I hope this helped.